So I was as journaling earlier today and I was like, what, what, what is the message? And actually, first of all, I, I'll, let's get into some social stuff first, shall we? Um, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers and stepmothers and aunties and mothers of fur babies and, and all of the, the, the good stuff that I saw going on over the weekend. Um, Glenn has been so sweet. He... <laughs> It's like he's turned every night into date night over here. He got me flowers and like we don't normally celebrate Mother's Day be for I think obvious reasons. And um and he just gave me a kiss and he's like you're you're a different kind of mother to so many and he's just been melting my heart. I mean, you know, they say in relationships like like the love can grow deeper as the years go on and it more more than has been that for for he and I even during this quarantine time it's just been such a a special time to just be be with him um in this in this way but i think he's getting some cabin fever so we'll 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 see uh when california opens up Anyways, a few of you asked about my my shirt and the brand. The brand is something like a circa 1940s. <laughs> it's, it was my my great aunt. Uh, her name was Aunt Lou, and she was sort of a Lucille Ball character of sorts. And she gave me this, so it, I don't even it doesn't have a label, a brand, anything. It's just it's just vintage, and I was feeling kind of gold would would be very appropriate for this monday so that and I, I felt better like i i'm getting into this like schlumpy kind of mode you know it's like especially on the weekends i'm like sitting around just you know eating hanging out on the porch flipping through magazines and i was like i have needed to i did a mask this morning i washed and blue dried my hair um and I just felt like putting something, something glittery on. So that leads me to where today's message comes from. And I was looking at a particular goal that I have coming up and I was like trying to get clear on the specifics of the goal. And I sort of like, I noticed that like one level of the goal, eh, it wasn't really exciting to me. But the higher level goal, now that was in, like, that was like, yes, yeah, I can get excited about that. I can get passionate about that. But then this like thought kicked in and obviously it's a goal. And I set this, the, the goal that I was like super excited about is at a level of something that I've never done before. And I started thinking about when I tried to do something similar and didn't work out and it didn't work out anywhere near to the level that I'm excited about this new goal working out. And I saw in my own thinking how much, wait, what was the phrasing that I got? I saw in my own thinking, my, in this area, my success muscles had atrophied. And when I say my success muscles, I mean my mental capacity. And it has been a long time since I had this level of success in this particular area. And I was like, whoa, Gina DeV, you need to wake yourself up. And I like, I just, I really realized and I started to treat myself very tenderly and very gently. So is this like relatable to any of you that like you were used to getting success in different areas and what you're going for now, you're like afraid that you might not be able to get the success that you want or that you're looking for, that you see other people get. Let me drop me a comment or give me a heart or something if this is um, relatable. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of us deal with this. So I was really starting to take a look at like, I need to gear up like, and I need to, I need to be kind and gentle with myself. I need to not live in the past over it and, and focus on the defeat and it probably won't happen. And because it didn't happen before and all that stuff. But I also like, if I were to just like in this moment, it would be like, it would be too much. It would, it would like blow out my adrenals. It would, it would like, cause you know, when you work into just like regular muscles, you know, when you build up, strength does grow in increments and you become stronger over time. And so what I realized for this particular situation is I need to go back to basics 
I need to really start building these muscles up again and again and stronger and stronger so that by the time it is uh, time to accomplish my goal, that I'm in really great mental, emotional, and physical shape. The other thing that I've noticed is I've been, um, oh, lazy might be a bit of a judgmental world. How shall we phrase it? I've been, uh, well, I think it's accurate to say I've been playing a small game with my physical workout thing. I've just, I haven't done anything more than go for walks, which walks are good, but it's like I'm noticing like lifestyles come in packages and it all comes together. And the thought of being like so mentally fit and on for this particular goal, it for me, it's going to require me getting my physical game on, my emotional game on, and my mental game on. And it's like, all right, now that I'm kind of getting seen an end to at least quarantine as we're used to it. It's totally, totally time to like get back in shape physically, emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually. So I just wanted to share this message transparently today that, you know, I, I see a lot of women being busy and stuck in the spin and you don't need to, to be there. You don't need to like second guess and overthink and be in fear or worry or any of that. We just need to do what we know works. And it's not um, complex. All, all of the success principles, they're really actually quite simple. Now, gearing ourselves up to create habits so that it doesn't feel like drudgery. You know, the hardest part is getting started. And I know the hardest part for me is gonna get back on that Peloton bike and get back working with my trainer, even if it's virtually at some point. You know, because then when you're in the mode, when, when I had the habit of working out before my uh, book tour, I like, I loved it. I got up early, I was looking forward to it. When you create the habits of journaling and reading and meditating and visualizing, then it all works together for your success. And that's what I know is meant for you and for me and for all of us. So we've gotta do our part. We've gotta do what we know, what we've been taught. For so many of us at this point, the the transformation is not in new information anymore. You know, that was that was at the beginning stages. And most of us have been in this conversation for a while now. So it's more about doing what we know than looking or finding some new bit of information either. It's 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 not that. It's it's do what we know, go back to basics and really treat these precious lives that we have been given, these short precious lives that we have been given, um, given it the utmost attention, respect, care, and you know, and again, be really kind and gentle with yourself as you are building up and, and gearing up. So that is my message for you this morning, is that if your success muscles have atrophied, that you absolutely have what it takes to get them strong, to get them re-engaged, um, and you know, I'll, I'll tell you this too, hold on. There was a woman I saw that's really, um, she's in a different industry, but she's really at the top of her game right now. And I was like flipping through and I was like sitting there on the couch in my, you know, uh, new leisure wear. Um, and I was watching her on Instagram and she was like having a blast and was like super high powered, high energy. And I looked at, I looked at her and I was like, that just looks exhausting. And I was like, Gina, check yourself here. Like, it's because of where, like, if I were to go and do that right now, it would exhaust me. But it's because I've, you know, let myself play this chill out game, which I also have to say too, I'm not saying any of this to say that I'm disappointed that I have. You know, spending these last couple of months at home, um, cooking and being chill and being in a different season, there have been all kinds of, of lessons and blessing and um, like real joy that, that I've had in it. You know, one of the things I was, I went on a, walk, a social distancing walk with a friend over the weekend and she's like, Gina, I love your hair. And I was like, thank you. I said, you know what, I'm loving it too. And what I'm, I'm like, I told you, Glenn took the extensions out, like my nails, these, these puppies need to grow. I said, but you know, I clip my, um, you know, my powdered nails off. I got my extensions out. Um, 
you know, I'm doing like masks for my skin and like returning to the natural. It's feeling so, so good to me. Um, and it's, it's had me think differently. I was like, you know, well, if I want thicker hair, then why don't I take more vitamins? And um, I'm also using like a cool, hopefully, a cool shampoo that's, um, you know, working naturally to do that. And, and say with my nails, I want my nails to grow. So like I'm taking extra calcium and um, vitamins to like, you know, not have the fake stuff and not have the chemicals. And so the, this, these past couple months have just been a different season and it hasn't for me been about super high powered work, launch, um, you know, I've been doing what I, what I do, but it hasn't, uh, I haven't been doing new things with that. So, but now I'm ready. Now I feel like, okay, I've flipped through enough magazines. I've bought enough cookbooks. I've eaten enough food. Uh, I've sat on my ass long enough. Like it's, like now I'm now I'm excited and now I'm getting ready, but it's a really about building up those success muscles that have atrophied. So all this to say, I want this for all of us. If this is feels like a season in your life that you want to either get back to a strength that you once had or renew or develop a strength that you haven't ever been at before, then let's do this together. I want you to spend time, if you don't know already, and get really clear about what is your upcoming goal. Like, what is it that you're doing? What is it that you're working on? And make sure that it's coming from a place that really, really lights you up. Not just what you have to do, not just what you can do, but like what if you could create a level of transformation, whether it's in your love life or in your business or physically, like, what would really excite you? What would have you feeling like, yeah, I did that. Like that, that feels joyous to me. That's really what I want for you. Uh, mine happens to be in the, the work department, um, but not in drudgery. Like I'm really going towards this new goal with a sense of adventure. And, uh, and I, I got to get prepared for it. Even, even the preparation, like I'm excited to get myself in shape um, in all these different areas. So that is the message for today. If you are looking to get yourself more positive programming and get more in shape, make sure that you've got my book, The Audacity to Be Queen. There's all kinds of great exercises in here and prayers and meditations and just fun stories that will support you with that. You can go to divineliving.com forward slash book to get in on that. And there's a free companion course as well, divineliving.com forward slash audacity. If you are not in there, go get in there right now. There's videos and workbooks and templates and a thriving Facebook group. I just want you to see how many women are just just opening up to such possibility and so much awareness in their lives. And every time I go in there, I know my vibration is lifted just because I'm reading their responses and their ahas and their awakenings. And it's just so, so good. And then my last request then is if you are in there, please go give that link to three people today. Go uh, give out divineliving.com forward slash audacity. DM someone, text someone, email someone, uh, because there are other women out there that don't know what's possible, how to get there, how to get themselves rejuvenated after this time of quarantine and whatever the season has been like. So I want to make sure it's completely free. You don't even have to buy the book to get in there. Go to divineliving.com forward slash audacity and give that link to three of your friends today. And with that, any thoughts, comments, questions about today's message in any way that I can support you in rebuilding or getting stronger in the area of success that you desire to be stronger in? Let's see what the questions are. Done. Sending to all my family. Great, Jamie. Thank you for that. And I'm sure they will be thanking you as well. While I'm waiting for the questions to come in, um, one thing I did do over the weekend is I completely organized my closet. Like since we just moved in, it's things have been like out of order and not completely organized. So that is feeling so good. So I have been doing other things, just not in the uh, you know direction that I'm going in now. Should I do a should I do a closet tour tomorrow? Would that be fun? show you all my my orga, my queen of organizational skills and uh, if you want that let me know here in the comments if you would like a closet tour tomorrow um, and otherwise ask me any questions you've got about getting geared up for your success um, just grateful for your energy on this Monday morning well thank you Jessica 
Hi, Sonia. Happy to have you here. Cheryl says, yes, let's see it. You, you'll be very impressed, Cheryl. It's like, it's super organized. I know where everything is. It's like I got new hangers so that everything is like uniform and organized. So it's, um, it's a, a work of art, but I can already, I could even tell like how much clearer in my thinking was uh, when I cleaned up the closet. Uh, yes, please. I will be organizing my closet this week. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. So it would seem like we're big yes to the uh, closet tour. I'll take you on that tomorrow. Any questions about your own uh, going for your own success stuff today? I can't wait. I need to be closet inspired. I, you know, I, it's, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I'm pleased with it. I'll be excited to, to share. There's little, little sprucing up that I'm going to be doing in there, but basic, but all the organization is done. Um, closet cleaning is soul cleansing. It really, really is. And of course I tried to get rid of a few things. I, I pulled out a handful of things. I'm not the best at, uh, actually getting rid of stuff because I tend to, as evidence today, recycle things that I don't necessarily wear that often. Queen closet inspo. Hey, Rachel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep wearing capes if I keep eating from like the places that Glenn is like delivering from those deli sandwiches over the weekend and he, that he had Bloody Mary's delivered to. I mean, the man is cracking me up, cracking me up. Um, Jamie says, working on my Instagram game. What is your advice on posting? I'm not selling. Um, you know, well, social media is, it's social. And I find that there's a lot that goes on to really genuinely create a relationship with your following. Um, and so I would get on there right now, Jamie, and just really develop relationship, develop relationship, you know, um, find whatever feels right to you in terms of your, your content, you know, I'd, I'd map it out. Um, you know, this structure is working really well for me. Like I'm enjoying coming on here every day at 10 o'clock Pacific. Um, and then of course we've got our posts and our stories and, you know, and then we repurpose what goes on here as well. Um, so you need to find out like what's going to really excite you in a sustainable way. And that is really the key. And then it's build relationship, build relationship, you know, in terms of selling, yes, but sparingly. You know, it's like um, when I come out with some of my new stuff, I'm going to be sharing it with all of you and, you know, happily and unapologetically. But you can see, I mean, other than other than my book, you know, I'm not really saying buy my stuff right now. Um, you know, I've got a lot free things like the, the course, the Audacity to be Queen Companion course. Um, so I am guiding people to come and join that for free where we're just not just we're like in relationship building mode like this is about you know we're all in this global pandemic time together we're in this together we're having live conversations together we're also still moving our lives and businesses forward so for me um something that I've really enjoyed more than ever in these past couple of months with social media it are the relationships. Like, you know, when I go into the audacity to be queen course and like seeing their ahas, seeing their wins, like, um, there was one woman that posted in there today, hold please. Cause I don't get to like, I do wish there was a, Oh, you know what? We actually should start doing that. If you've got a question, like click to, be on it. And why am I sitting here talking to my, not talking to myself. I know you're there, but I mean, like my voice is the only one that can be heard. If you want to like, ask, Hey, Jamie ask to, um, join this thing. Can people do that Kendall? And then I can actually talk, go back and forth. And then when you come on, then I can take a sip of my coffee and it not be silence. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see if Jamie can request to join this. I don't know if you have to do it just at the beginning or if you can do it like now. Kendall said she can. So um, Jamie, ask to join my live. Oh, Jamie, you got to go out. You need to uh, go out and come back in because it only does it at the beginning. Okay, cool. Thank you, Kendall. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so 
Oh, but in that group, that's right. In the Audacity to Be Queen group. So I was reading this morning with my coffee that <clears throat> there is a woman, she's, she wasn't in our community before. She went to Miami for a girl's trip, had gone through a breakup and saw my book in the airport and checked it out. And then I guess started, I'm assuming started following me on Instagram and then ended up joining the companion course. Anyways, she's sharing this beautiful story and all these awarenesses. And it just, it like genuinely lights my heart. This isn't anything about selling, but this is what I mean about relationship building. It's like, um, letting it thank you all for who, uh, with the comments about how Jamie can get out and come back in. Um, so it's really about the, the relationship building. Then when I come out with what my net, there we go. Jamie, yes. We're waiting for Jamie. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so much more fun. There she is. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. How's Michigan today? It's looking cold out there. It's, it's cold. <laughs> Michigan <laughs> is cold. You're not missing much. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, California actually got a little cooler today too, but does not, not that cold. Okay. So I don't know how much of this you heard because you asked the question and it came on and off, but did you get your question answered or what, what are you looking to do with social media these days? So the goal right now uh, with the modeling career is really gaining visibility and I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of the wobble that I was in mm -hmm. visibility in general. Right. I'm working the Instagram game to, you know, to get my visibility to be seen by others that can hire me for modeling jobs. So that is where I'm kind of. Okay, great. So then you don't need to be selling anything right now. You, you get to just build your audience. Okay. So it just feels awkward, obviously, sometimes when I'm like, just, I don't know, just putting random stuff out there because I don't have a branding message. I mean, I do, it, you see where the stumble is? It's, yes, well, I can talk. Sure, I mean, well, first of all, there are all kinds of models that I wouldn't say have a branding message. They're posting pictures of themselves. Okay. You know, and so I think what, what you need to get clear on is Kind of like what you're doing if you're going for modeling then go and study what the models are doing on instagram that don't have a brand message if you're going for influencer then that's more of a brand message piece so you may not actually need a message depending on what your goals are and what really lights you up okay i like research both mm -hmm. so to me the influencer you're going to get a, bro a bigger broader audience faster than like modeling? So, right, then just like, so, I mean, I follow obviously like Adriana Lima, things like that, you know? So mm -hmm. sure, she gets to post her Gucci photo shoot, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's fine, I just got shots done. I'm trying to get more, you know, photo shoots done. Obviously we can, can't right now. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where I'm kind of like, like I have it there, I want to post, and then I'm, then I'm creating different things, like conversations with Kremen and, and I, it feels, you know, like a slippery well, so, road. All right, so, right, there's so much that you could do. The question really is, what do you want? So you want to do just modeling? That is the goal, yes, absolutely, yes. Okay, so not the influencer route. My end goal is the modeling. What I see is influencer being a bigger... Will help you faster? Yes. Then that's the route you take. Okay. So then you get to go into the adventure of what do you want to talk about? I mean, I do happen to agree with that because when you start using hashtags and start, you know, getting people who are interested in the same things you're interested in to follow you, that's going to grow the whole thing faster. Right. So if you could talk about anything, what would you want to talk about? <laughs> hmm. Honestly, what are you, I, what are you interested well, in? what lights me up is my spiritual connection. So I'm like, I'd be more than happy to speak about God and Christ. That Great. is like, then do it. Okay. I mean, okay. and this isn't why you're doing it, but there's fewer strategies you could pick than talking to a Christian audience. It's going to grow up faster. I mean, okay. 
You see, like, you know, and that's not why you're doing it. But like, if I were to be like a strategist and be like, hey, Jamie, you should go talk about Jesus because all the people that are obsessed with Jesus are going to start following you. And especially you being a mom and the whole model thing, like that's like the fastest way to actually get followers. Nice. Right? I mean, go, awesome. go look at all of the, you know, Christ lover, mom blogger, fitness, mm -hmm. this, that, whatever. Like their, their followings are massive. Okay. Awesome. So go be Thank one of you. them. You're welcome. Clarity. You're welcome. Clarity. Super Thank cool. you, Gina. Thanks. You're so welcome. Oh, love oh. this, love this, love this. See, freedom is a thought away. And yeah, you can sign off, Jamie. You don't have to stay on through the, 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 my wrap up. But, um, you know, when you go for what's natural to you, what really lights you up, everything becomes easier and you can see that there's such a purpose for it anyways. So thank you all for being here today. Well done, well done, well done. I will look for, I do get to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's not like typical coaching day for me. So I think I get to be here tomorrow. I will look forward to being with you all then. And with that, go get clear on your goal what really lights you up today and then build up that uh, physical if that's for you emotional intellectual and spiritual capacity so that you get out of any sort of uh, atrophy of your success muscles and get really really strong as we move into this spring and summer together bye everyone <laughs>